I think they made it look a lot cleaner, a little more modern and easy to read in some ways. Um, it's pretty similar. There's you know the pie chart, the funnel, and different lines. So uh, the line chart there, but they did add a few new ones and changed a few of them, which is nice. So there's this uh, gauge one. Um, one people always wanted just to see the number of something, which was not possible in the previous version. Uh, so you can now, it does have this chart on top of it, but we can see, for example, these are the number of tickets that are open and assigned to Lee. So he's got 29 of them. We can also set the amount sort of in this gauge here. So these are the open opportunities for Lee. Um, and he's got 120,000 worth more or less. And you can also set a goal of 150,000. So that's what this is showing. That here's up to 150, and he's you know almost there. I've got a little further to go. He's 30,000 down from the goal. So that's one of the new charts, uh, one of the new widgets. And then in the samples area, we can see just how the the new dashboards are set up. There's the donut chart, which I think is new. It's sort of similar to a pie chart. Um, you can hover over and see the actual amounts within. These aren't too hard to see, but if it was was smaller, you could do that. Uh, so again, one of those gauge charts, the funnel. And what's nice about um, like the bar charts and the, the line charts and a few others is that you've added the ability to use more than one data source. Uh, so you can see more than one thing on the dashboard on the graph at a time. So right now we're seeing actual and potential for each account manager. Previously, you could only have one sort of data source on each graph. So we go into the settings. You can see down here, we've got the data sources of, these are the conditions for the actual, and these are for the potential. Um, you can add, I won't recall offhand if there's a limit, obviously at some point it's just gonna get impossible to read, but you can add at least two separate data sources and compare those, you know, like this year versus last year, actual versus potential, something like that. And you can also on these um, zoom in so you can see the data a little better if you've got a large chart. So we've zoomed in so we can see each one more closely and you can still hold and hover over there. And you can also uh, pan around. Let's look at the different information that you'd like. Then go ahead and just click that and it'll zoom back out. And you can just directly export a picture of the dashboard widget as well. So you can use that in a, a separate report or for whatever you need to. And similar thing with the column charts, you can zoom in and zoom around. So that's the new uh, new dashboard setup. Definitely improved the look of it and you get some nice new functions for a few of the different charts.